Local officials have proposed a bill that would require security cameras at all Ohio truck stops. Now, the goal here is to cut down on crime, mainly human trafficking. Mahoning County Prosecutor Gina DiGenova is here with us now to share how it would work. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank so, you for so, what me. all does this bill entail? Yes, um, it would have. Uh, it, it entails the installation of traffic camera security cameras at all 85 rest stops uh, that are owned by the Department of Transportation. And how would this help curb human trafficking? Well. It has a multitude of benefits. Yeah. It, it could act as a deterrent. You know, if individuals know that there are cameras on site, they would be less inclined to commit crime at that location. It also um, acts as a very good tool for investigators and prosecutors to be able to capture events as they occur, to be able to pick up on information that an eyewitness may not see or might miss. And it's preserved and it happens in real time. Is there data that shows there's a, I don't know about a lot of crime, but crime does take place at rest stops across Ohio? Absolutely. And one of the proponents of uh, the bill that testified along with myself today is actually a victim of a crime. Her husband was killed at a rest stop. And, um, you know, while there weren't cameras in place at that time, and she was fortunate enough to have um, the crime solved and the perpetrator prosecuted, you know, if they didn't have that ability, the traffic cameras, the security cameras would have have provided information that would have been necessary. You just got back from Columbus where you testified in support of this. What was your main message to the lawmakers there? My message was that human trafficking and any crime, it, it is a huge problem in Ohio and a rest stop is a location that might see those events taking place. Human trafficking uses the transportation industry. It's a hub for, for transporting, um, also for finding people to engage in uh, illegal conduct at that location and because it's isolated cameras will provide uh, be the eyes and ears essentially if people miss something. Are there other states that do this already that Ohio has looked at or can look to as to kind of be a model? You know, I've in my research, I looked around and I wasn't able to find a state that does that, but there are states that engage in initiatives um, that provide information on how to identify victims of human trafficking and how to report if they see something. Right. Do you think lawmakers are receptive to this bill and, and what are you, the chances you think it, it could pass? We had nothing but positive comments um, and questions from the lawmakers who serve on the Homeland Security Committee. Um, everybody had nothing but positive things to say. Uh, I am uh, very optimistic that it will go through this uh, this status and it will move to the next. Right. What, what would be the, the negatives, the cons of something like this? Is it the funding? to pay for the cameras? I, I mean, perhaps. I right, mean, money's yeah. always an issue. Sure. But that wasn't something that um, any of the committee members talked about. There were no negative comments made. And as a matter of fact, uh, the state of Ohio is undergoing uh, renovation of their rest stops as we speak. So what better time to right. install these cameras but now? Do you, are, are you aware of the process? Where does it go from here now? Well, this was the second hearing for the bill. Uh, they may have a third hearing, and if they vote it out of committee, I believe it goes to the Senate. Okay. And if it gets voted out of committee, it gets sent to the governor. And again, as fast as we could get this uh, passed, the better, because like you said, it could take a few years to get all of the cameras installed, it could. right? I, I, I'm very optimistic um, that they will move fast. Yeah. I mean, it's just such a benefit to all travelers in Ohio, and I'm just so honored to have been a part of it because it does benefit everyone in the state of Ohio. Right. Mahoney County Prosecutor Gina DiGenova, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.